Ladies and gentlemen, wonderful people, this is Call of Duty Fanatics. Welcome back to another Warzone report. And in this one, I'm having some absolutely crazy information for you guys. Because in this one, I'm actually going to talk about COD 2023. Which is supposed to be the next Black Ops title developed by Treyarch. Now, just a couple of hours ago, Bloomberg.com reported about some shocking news for the next Call of Duty title. And this was actually brought by Jason Schreier. I'm not 100% sure have I pronounced uh, right the name or the surname of the, of the journalist. But he brings us some very shocking information about the development of the further Call of Duty games and especially the one uh, that's planned for 2023. So in this one I'm actually going to talk about this news and we are going to break down every piece of information with it. So he is actually saying that Activision Blizzard will delay a Call of Duty game that had been planned for next year. The first time the franchise will be without an annual mainline release in nearly two decades according to people familiar with the plan. Now, guys, honestly speaking, this is very shocking, considering the fact that in the last 20 years, every year we have a COD title of some sort. This time, they're actually going to put all of their assets and all of their powers to make Modern Warfare 2 a great game and that's actually a great news and can you imagine for example in a Warzone that we are going to have 12 seasons of Modern Warfare story development, weapons, easter eggs etc. Now Mr. Jason also is saying that the company is pushing off the release after a recent entry in the series failed to meet expectations, leading some executives to believe that they are introducing new versions too rapidly, said the people who asked not to be identified because they weren't authorized to discuss the deliberations. The decisions were not related to Activision arrangements to sell itself to Microsoft Corporation for $69 billion, the people said. Now, I will definitely agree on this one. They are bringing new versions and new titles too rapidly, which are completely unfinished, buggy and with a lot of problems. Now, if we take a closer look at the Call of Duty Vanguard, at the moment. Campaign was brilliant. I can't make any complaints on that. Now everything else in that game is more or less average. And honestly speaking, when I'm talking with you guys, I can see that you're kind of sick and tired of the World War II era being in the games. Like, they had so much potential with Vanguard. They could make a parallel endings, uh, fictional endings that the Vanguard is hunting for the Nazi remnants somewhere in the world after the war but no instead of that they decided again to recycle the same things over and over again d-day stalingrad this and that i mean it's a story that's been recycled so many times it's practically boring i will not even mention the vanguard zombies which is absolutely terrible experience i mean the game had its potentials but since we are not getting any decent updates for it in the last two seasons, I'm not 100% sure why this part of the game was even released in Call of Duty Vanguard. Now, Mr. Jason also claims that Activision is working on other projects to fill the gap next year. A Call of Duty game set to come out this fall will receive a steady stream of additional content and there will be a new free-to-play online title next year, said the people. Now, Treyarch, the Activision-owned studio working on the new delayed game, will also help with the free-to-play title, the people said. Now, first thing that I want to discuss here is he's constantly mentioning the people said, so people in a plural which actually means that he's having multiple sources on this, which is kind of good because it makes more of these things are being true, actually. Now, the delayed free-to-play online game to me sounds like we are talking about Warzone Mobile because 
that thing is not uh, confirmed yet but we already kind of have these leaks and rumors which are actually uh, confirming that Warzone Mobile is coming as well. He is also claiming that the game that's going to be out this fall will receive a steady stream of additional content. And that's the key information here, guys. We are speaking about Modern Warfare 2. And that's the thing that I mentioned at the beginning of this report. Can you imagine that we are going to get in a Modern Warfare 2 and a Warzone like 12 seasons? Now, that's something that I'm looking forward to because let's just remind ourselves that Infinity Ward made Modern Warfare 2019 and it was one of the most successful game in this franchise since its existence. Furthermore, the report is also stating that last year's entry Call of Duty Vanguard failed to meet Activision's sales expectations, leading executives to suspect that it had been cannibalized by the previous year's game. A free-to-play version released in 2020 Call of Duty Warzone remains a massive success and may have drawn players away from the premium entries. And I wouldn't definitely agree with the statement that I just read. Uh, the thing over here is that f people are fed up with uh, history titles. Now, the last two Call of Duty titles were Black Ops Cold War, which is set up in the 80s, and then we had Vanguard, which is set up in the 40s, which is absolutely, as I said previously, those topics are absolutely overconsumed. They are just recycled too many times that people are simply not happy with it. The second thing when it comes to Black Ops Cold War, many of the people felt that after playing Modern Warfare 2019, jumping to a Cold War engine or Treyarch Call of Duty engine was a step back. Speaking from my perspective, I could never get used to uh, Black Ops Cold War engine, especially if I used to play multiplayer or something like that. It never got to me. The second thing is, if we are speaking about the zombies, that engine worked absolutely perfect in a Cold War Zombies. And I will definitely say that the Black Ops Cold War Zombies was one of the most successful zombies story ever told in Call of Duty franchise. So Activision remains autonomous and Microsoft could decide to change these plans after the acquisition, which is expected to be finalized by the summer of 2023, pending approval from regulators. The shares declined as much as 1.4% in extended trading Tuesday on news of the delay. So basically the stocks of Activision fell down a little bit because of this announcement, but I think they will get back on the track when Modern Warfare 2 is released. And honestly speaking, guys, after all the problems that we had, especially in the last year, with the Black Ops Cold War, now with, in, with the Vanguard, I am very hopeful for Modern Warfare 2 because it's going to be run by Infinity Ward, which actually made the Modern Warfare 2019. So at the end, I would like to say that I personally think this is the light at the end of the tunnel and that we should remain cautiously hopeful and optimistic ahead of Modern Warfare 2. Anyways, guys, this would be the end of this small report. Please let me know what do you think and what do you expect from Modern Warfare 2 that's coming this fall hopefully let me know everything what you think in a comment section below and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future great call of duty content and until next time my fellow caldera citizens i wish you all the best and stay frosty